In today's tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to create this stitching tool with geometry nodes. It works with the draw tool and also existing curves if you have. And it's also very interactive, so it affects the geometry too. So let's get right into it. Now you can change a few things here, just like the scale of these things. Then you can bring down this value, which is the thickness, I think. And right here is some offset. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the default scene I'm using Blender 3.3. First, I'm gonna delete the default cube and stuff right here. And then I'm gonna add another cube. Yes, because that's the rule. Hit Ctrl 5 to give it some subdivisions and apply this right there. And then I'm gonna add a curve here. It can be whatever curve. Now first, let's go to the curve here and delete everything. Then I'm gonna pick the draw tool right there. I'm gonna set this to surface and click right there. We can give it a little bit of an offset of something like 0.01 and the tolerance, let's make it one. So you get high resolution. Then if you draw something, it's uh, drawing it on the object. You know that already, I know. So rename the curve to stitches on right there with the object. Let's add a new geometry node system. First, what we wanna do is we wanna get the stitches curve and import it to the geometry nodes. Set it to relative and right there in the geometry, I'm gonna add a curve to mesh node. Now now let's preview this curve and see how it looks like. Now in the profile curve, I'm gonna add a circle. It's gonna be a curved circle. And resolution, let's make it 7 because we don't need that much. And bring the radius down. You can hold shift to get a better control at this. And what you wanna do here is, you wanna control the radius of the curve for the stitches because I don't wanna do instancing and other stuff. You can do it with radius easily. So add a set curve radius node. Now I want to control this with the index. So in the radius I'm going to add a math node. Set this to modulo and right there I'm going to add an index. Now we will do this whole thing with this value. Let's set this modulo to 5 and you can already see we're getting somewhere. But before that I'm going to Control H to hide that and add a resample curve node and give some more points to our curve. Now I'm gonna set this from count to length and bring the length down just like that. Now we want a better control, so I'm gonna add a group input node, group input, and now I'm gonna add a math node here. Now I want one value for the whole scale thing, just like that. So you wanna control the length here and the modulo value right there with one input in the modifiers tab. So for that I'm gonna connect this value right here to the black dot and select this thing, hit N and go to the group and rename this value to scale. This is our scale. Then I'm gonna set this to a divide because uh, we need a smaller value for the length. So I'm gonna divide it by something like 1000 and connect the value to the length. Now bring it up a little bit so that the stitches are bigger. Just like that will be fine. So in the value right here, you can add a math node because we're dealing with the modulo and index here. So you may want a value which is uh, more like integer. I'm gonna get a seal here. I don't know much about these nodes, but uh, I tried it and it worked. I think it rounds up values to nearest integer. Yeah. So connect the value to the scale right there too. Now if we play with it, you can see it's it's working properly. The whole thing is scaling with it and that's good. Now after the modulo, we may, we may want to control it a little bit more and make it smoother. So add a math node. Set it to add, this is good. Then after that I'm gonna add a color ramp. And before the color ramp, we can add something like a smooth minimum node and bring the color ramp up just like that. Now let's play with these nodes and see how it looks like. You can see it already looks like a stitch, but still not perfect, right? So. So now we made the stitch pattern here, let's get to the next step. We have a control over the scale and it works fine. I'm gonna get my group input which looks like that, you can see. It's a spear which we made from the cube. And get a raycast node here. 
Now what we want to do is we want to recast this curve over our object so we don't get problems in the normals and stuff like that. So this is going to be the target geometry and I'm going to get the curve which is this object go right there and I'm going to set the position of the curve set position get these two nodes right there get the head position and connect it to the position directly and connect the is head to selection now you want a direction for the shrink wrap to go so we can add a normal node here and connect it to the right direction now you can prove this and see how it's working at the end maybe I'll just connect this right there now at the end you can add a join geometry node and add your group input for now so that we can see our spear too I think the raycast is working only on the upper side because it's the normals they are going this way so if I scale it it's not going through it so that's a good thing the raycast is working I'm gonna hit ctrl H on that to make it simple and understandable you can grab these nodes right there and keep things organized now we got the stitching pattern and yeah the the raycast now what else can we do here now we want these parts of the stitch to go inside the mesh because it looks very flat right now so we need to do this before the curve to mesh node because index is used for the curve only I'm gonna add a set position node because we're setting the position of points get this color ramp and add a boolean math now we're gonna get everything else of that so make it to not and set this to not and connect it to the selection in the offset i'm going to add a vector math set it to scale i'm going to get the normals from our spear right there so it will be a good position for that to set so right there i'm going to add a transfer attribute node transfer attribute so keep in mind that this node will be removed in blender 3.4 and will be replaced with some new nodes I'm gonna overlay a picture over there so you can see how to replace this node. Set this from float to vector and in the source you can see the source is our group input so I'm gonna go add a group input. Connect the geometry to the source and in the attribute it's a normal so I'm gonna add a normal node and connect the attribute to the vector. Now you can see we got exactly the point that we needed. We can bring down the scale and just like that we got it. Now that's looking good. Now we can add a subdivisional surface after the curve to mesh to make it smoother. This is gonna be just one level. The stitches are looking pretty great. You can control the size easily. What if you wanna control the radius? So go to the curve circle right there and add a group input and disconnect the radius to the black dot right there. Add a math node here and multiply it with a smaller number, something like 0.3. Now the slider will be working fine. So if you want to control the whole offset of the thing, you can add a set position node here too, set position, and you want to control the offset with the normals, so right there. Let's duplicate this scale node, connect it to the offset, and get the attribute from there, and connect it to the vector. Now you can play with this value to control the whole offset of these stitches. So it's up to you now. I'm gonna get the scale to zero right now because I don't need it. And we can also get an input for that with the group input. Get the scale connected to right there. Rename it to offset. That's good to go. I'm sure we don't need any more controls here. So after that, the last thing we want is we want it to interact with our geometry. So this is our geometry, right? So make sure you have more subdivisions for that to interact with. And right there, let's add a proximity node, geometry proximity. In here, I'm gonna set this to points because we need points there. Add a set position node, set position. Get the distance and add a map range to this and connect the result to the offset right there. Now it's not gonna look very good right now. So let's add a few more nodes. I'm gonna add a vector map set it to scale I think and in the scale I'm gonna add a normal node and that's gonna be easy now before the map range let's add a map node to control it a little bit more and play with this node just like that now you can go to the edit mode and subdivide it and you can also add a subdivision surface node here which will be easy to control 
you can just remove it and the subdivisions will be gone now let's play with these values and make it perfect for our stitching so I'm gonna bring it back just like that not very thick now we'll play with this value I'm gonna bring this one down just like that you can see it's already looking good it's interacting with our geometry so you can just uh, write anything here or choose your curve just like that and it'll be fine now let's check the controls if they're working you can go with the uh, larger scale just bring it down and you can also bring down the radius by the way just like that I'm gonna bring it up a little bit and the offset is used for that and just like that now this works fine for me now if you want a curve an existing curve you can select an edge right there this one too and hit shift D to duplicate it P to separate by selection select the edge and then go to the object convert to curve now it's converted to a curve oh, I think I duplicated some more objects with it I'm gonna delete it from my scene X vertices now this is our curve you can now uh, go right there and this object go to this object hit ctrl H again and get the group input connect the object here to the black dot now from here you can choose the curve object.001 and it will be selected and it works fine you can see the stitching is working no need to do with uh, deal with all the modifiers and curve modifiers used for this method it's very easy all we've done with geometry nodes it's interacting with the geometry which is very good and now if you go right there and play with this node the add I'm gonna search for an input again and connect the value right there I think this is the distance between two um, stitches so I'm gonna rename it to distance distance now if you change this value just look at it it controls the whole distance between two stitches if I bring it down a lot yes now you can play with the distance and bring it down to something negative and you can see the distance between the stitches is is bigger now so if I bring it back up it looks like that so that's how you control the distance that's how you control the scale and that's the radius you can bring it up bring it down and use it with your sculpt and stuff like that and by the way if your draw tool is acting weird you can go right there to the beginning of the node tree and in here you can add a set position node to bring the whole sphere down a little bit and in there in the offset add a vector math set it to scale and in here add a normal node and now right there you can set this to something smaller 0 0.01 sometimes if your object is acting weird then what you need to do is you need to get this resample curve node and just move it before the set position node because I did a mistake before so I'm gonna remove it from there control S I'm gonna hit control I'm just gonna duplicate it right there connect the divide value to the length and remove it from here now that's good also you can do one more thing if it's not working you can add a transfer attribute right there I added a normal node for the redirection in the recast node you can add a transfer attribute here transfer attribute and set it to vector in the attribute add a normal node connect the attribute to the redirection that's gonna be the end of the tutorial and I'll see you in the next one